to you live from downtown Toronto. Here she is, Marilyn Dennis. Could this be you? Could this be you? Could this be you? Welcome to our BLT fat fight. Okay, listen to me. BLT is not bacon, lettuce, and tomato. No, no, no. We all have our trouble spots, and today we're tackling the big three. The back. Do you relate, anybody? Yeah? Uh, the legs. Do you relate, anybody? Although you all look good today. And tummy. That's my trouble spot. We've got health and fitness and fashion advice today, too. So first up, back fat. Watch this. It's one of the most stubborn areas when it comes to losing fat, the back. Back fat is stored in three parts, the upper, middle, and lower back. As you get older, fat can spread through your muscles, creating those stubborn back bulges. And an ill-fitting bra can only add to the problem. I never really noticed back fat until like the last couple of months. Back fat is a body part that's really hard to dress. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're like overweight or something. It just could be like how your body is. There's something I never even thought about. Well, it exists. <laughs> My friend has yeah. this really big fear that uh, she gets her back fat zipped up in her dress. How would you even attempt to like tone that area of your body? I have no idea. Honestly, I hate back fat. <laughs> I have back fat and I wish I didn't. <laughs> Welcome weight loss expert, Dr. Melissa Hirschberg, going to help us out today, everyone. Very good. Okay. So, why do we gain weight in certain areas of the body? Because it's just like you're trying to lose weight, you lose in one area, you don't lose in the other. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Yeah. And where we gain weight and fat tends to be largely based on our genetics, but that's not to say there's not something we can do about it. Right, right. So, so that's we're going to focus on the back the legs and the tummy today and and we've talked to three viewers we actually have three viewers that are with us today Melissa as you well know each one of them has issues with either their back legs or tummy so first Perfect. let's meet and welcome Andrea come on up Andrea. <laughs> hi sweetie nice to meet you hey, talk to me so I used to be really in shape like jacked and everything yeah when I was doing fitness modeling right and then I had a pregnancy mm -hmm. I had a baby and ever since then I've had a lot of trouble I've lost it a lot of places but just kind of like the back you got in the back handles. a little bit it's yeah. kind of Owen's house yeah it's kind of moved to the back <laughs> it's just kind of shifted <laughs> right. to the back okay yeah. right so why 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 the back why does it go there okay so just turn around for us sure. first of all you look great but when yeah. we refer okay. to back fight when we refer to back fat what we're talking about usually is the fat that accumulates underneath the shoulder blades, mm -hmm. this area. Mm -hmm. And that tends to be where our bra strap hits. Yes. So we notice it in women because we get a bulge around it. So the reason we get fat here is for two reasons. Number one is insulin resistance. You can turn around now. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. okay. So um, insulin. Insulin resistance. Exactly. So people that tend to store fat around their back tend mm -hmm. to have a hard time processing carbohydrates. So when you eat carbohydrates, especially the high glycemic index ones like your sweets, your white starches, you tend to gain weight and it tends to store there. The other reason is that our back is covered with large muscles, mainly our rhomboids and our lats. And as we get older, these muscles weaken and form gaps, and the fat can bulge out from underneath them. Mm. Okay, so here you are losing in other places where you got it there. So what does she do? Right, okay, so in order to target this fat, number one, you need to combat the insulin resistance. So you want to obviously reduce your calories to lose weight overall, but you specifically want to reduce the calories that come from those white carbs. So all your sweets, your cookies, your chips, your breads, your potatoes, the foods we love, and the foods that tend to be easy to go to after you've had a baby, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. So number one, that's what you want to do. Number two is um, exercise, and specifically weight training for the back muscles. So building muscle really helps combat insulin resistance, but also if you build up your lats and your rhomboids, you'll help keep that fat in. Mm -hmm. So if you have a gym membership, great things to do are the lat pull down or use the rowing machine. Uh, or if you don't have a gym membership, just something as easy as swimming is yeah. really helpful. Okay, so there you go right there. So we're going to go talk to um, somebody else about the fitness part of it. But again, it gets isolated. That's what happens, and that's why. And, you know, genetics. Genetics, exactly. If you look at your parents, if you look at your yeah. grandparents, and they yeah. tend to store weight on their back, yeah. 
you know, you might be the same pattern for you, but it's great. You know, you don't have to look at it. It's on the back. Yeah, you don't have to look at it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's a good, there here's you go. Side side to that. Side to everything. Nice. I knew there was a good side about that. Right. Come on over here, Andrew. We're going to say hello to Samantha Mulvati Wynn. Nice Hi, to see you. Good to good. see you. So if you've got back a situation and you want to resolve a little bit, we already know about the caloric intake. Now we're going to talk about three exercises that you can do to combat this. Yes, to help strengthen those muscles. And right. she was very correct. So it's they primarily are your lats mm -hmm. and they are your shoulder blades and the rhomboids behind there. So my three go-tos would be your bent over row. So if you want to step over here, okay. what you would do is you'd grab... You know, you could start with five, eight, maybe even ten pounds. You hold them in front, and what she's going to do is stand nice and tall. You're going to keep your chest out, and all I want you to do is bend over at the waist. You're going to let the weights hang freely towards the floor, and then you're going to come up, and you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze, and then come down. Because she's bent over, she also wants to make sure that she keeps her abdominals tight, mm -hmm. okay? And she's going to squeeze and come up. And do you feel that right here, the retraction right in there? Okay. Yeah. And again, what she's doing, she's helping to work these muscles up here, okay? The rhomboids and keep everything back and build up those muscles. Right, right. What's another one? Okay, so another one that we have is your one arm row. And what she would do here is she would step on the tubing with her other foot mm -hmm. and she creates her own resistance, okay? So standing nice and tall, you're going to come up and you're going to extend. You're going to contract right in here. Okay, and again, what she's doing with that, and you're going to come back down, she's going to be working up in here, making sure that these muscles are nice and contracted and strong and keeping her shoulders back, building up the muscle, right, and keeping proper form. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So not bending over, not putting the shoulders up near your ears. Exactly, hurting, keeping the shoulders you know, down. That's what we do, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And again, the core. Core well, is really important to keep that strong. Always. Any exercise you yeah. do, you need to engage your core. What's the thought process when you're engaging your core very quickly for all of these exercises? How do you know, for some of us, after we have a baby, we can't find the core. <laughs> we have the core, we lost the core, where's the core? So okay. what do you do? Actually, you know what? You start with the Kegel. Your Kegel. Yeah, because your pelvic floor is actually a foundation of your core, believe yeah, it or not. Yeah, okay. Right, so you start with the Kegel, yeah. and then you can just do some gentle, almost like embracing of your deep abdominals. Now we have to do the and lap pull down. Yeah, How about so the, the last, last one? one, yeah, so your lap pull down is your one of my favorite go tos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna take it with two hands. Mm -hmm. The closer her hands are together, you're going to create your own resistance, okay? You're going to hold your arms overhead like this, but just so you can see it, you're going to pull the tubing down just until you touch the front of your chest. Oh. So you're going to bring it down like this, yeah? Oh. You'll feel those muscles contracting. So again, what she's doing here is she's contracting these muscles, bringing it right down, and all she's doing is she's pulling that tubing down. Okay. okay, and that's a really fantastic exercise. And right in here, she's working these lats. So Bring that, those in. Yes, and she's creating that, that V, that okay. V position. Yeah. 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 There you go. Okay, now we're going to do this with the, with the tummy and the thighs. We're going to do that yep. with you. So let's talk about very quickly before I see Claudia. Reps. To, to make a difference, we're talking about caloric intake, talking mm -hmm. about working out a little bit. So what do you say? Well, it depends on, you know, how early you start and, you know, if you're a seasoned exerciser or not. If she, she's pretty in pretty good shape, sure. I would start stay with two, start two to three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. good. Stop. All right. Come on over here. we got to say hello to Claudia. Thanks, Samantha. All right. This is fashion producer Claudia Avante, and we're going to talk about... Calories, exercise, clothing. And now how to fix it. Lucky for you. Yes. <laughs> this is probably the easiest fix. This is the thing that, uh, you know, all you need to do really essentially, it comes down to it. We've heard it a million times. Right. Get a bra that fits you. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, 97% of people yeah. do not have a bra that fits them properly. So that's a big key. Yeah. So what kind of uh, bra are we looking for? So nine times out of 10, you're wearing the wrong size bra yes. if this is happening. Because what's happening is that you're cutting in, your back bra strap is cutting in. It's shifting up. We know with weight gain, with weight loss, with mm -hmm. aging, that stuff's moving, right? Mm -hmm. The girls are going down here. The bra strap's going up. That's right. You've got right. on your back all Yeah, that's right. Right, right. right. <laughs> so... What I, want, what I brought in for you today is two options. The first one here that I want to talk about is um, basically this is just a bra with a really nice thick strap going across the back. And what we want to look for is something that's between two and three inches thick because what that's going to do is create some nice clean lines. It's going to tuck everything in there, put it, put it away where it belongs, and make everything nice and smooth. And if you are feeling like you're a bit fuller up top as well, what's great about this one is that it has the thick straps on the shoulders. So that's going to prevent any of that spilling over that happens when you're wearing those sexy little cute bras. It's, the, 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 it's, it's great too because it hides the bulges. It just kind of flattens everything out. There's more material to, For sure. to take care of it. To For sure. It. All right. That's right. The other one I wanted to talk about that I brought in, and I don't know why I haven't thought of this earlier. I hardly have any of these in my collection. Yeah. 
front closure bras. The reason why I love this, first of all, it has this thicker strap along the back as well. Yeah, so it gives you that, that kind of support. Mm -hmm. But front closure bras are amazing for cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> they create a nice full bust. And you know what? What's there to complain about? People are going to be looking up here instead of looking at the back. So yeah. I think that's right. a great option yeah. for you there. She's got a good front, too. <laughs> yeah, there you right? go. Yeah. Okay, so Dan, yeah, let's talk about clothing. What does she wear? What exactly. are the suggestions? So listen, in terms of dressing, it's all about proportions. I had no idea so much math was involved in fashion, but it is. And the proportions that we're always trying to achieve is that beautiful hourglass figure, right? Yeah. Which is uh, proportions up top, below, and then a nice cinched waist. So what I did here, what you want to do is basically offset where you feel like there's a bit more bulk and a mm -hmm. bit more volume mm -hmm. with uh, offset it down below. So opt for something that's a bit fuller below, whether it's a wide leg pant or whether it's a fuller skirt, right. that's going to really create a balance. Uh -huh. So what, what, and then once we have that balance created, we want to make sure that we're not boxing ourselves off either, right? Mm -hmm. So make sure you get a belt or something that's going to cinch in the waist and really draw attention to that figure that you've created, that hourglass figure that everybody wants to get. Sure, that's so right. What I pulled out here is a really cute jumpsuit. And what I love about this, first of all, it's all black. Black's always slimming. We love it. Mm -hmm. um, and we can really fancy it up. It has the V-neck that's going to draw your eye way up and down. But it has these awesome wide legs. So yeah. that's going to create that volume on the bottom that we really love. Okay. Perfect. So what else do you want to say about that? Like shoes too. Heels are always cool. Heels are always a great option. Yeah. I went for something yeah. really cool with this. I wanted to play with uh, the gold that's happening up top. And we're going to add some really amazing accessories. And I think you're going to look amazing. I think you're going to look amazing too. Just a quick recap. So if this, the back is what we're talking about right now, is that you're talking about taking the balance and then just like making it more flared at the bottom. That's right. More, a little bit more tailored at the top. That's right. So okay. you're going to want to be making sure that you're balancing off wherever you feel that your concerns are. So yeah. if you're feeling you're a little bit broader in the back, right. let's make sure that we're balancing that out on the bottom and cinching in the waist. Yeah. And get a good bra, because I still have bras that fit me from high school. It doesn't mean I should be wearing them. No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I think you should go get your bra looked at about... Really? Once a year, really. What? Twice. Well, when you get to be my age, well, Claudia, you know, different <laughs> things are down. I get to say, where do they go? Where do they go? <laughs> Andrew, I want you to take these clothes. I want you to go change because we see it at the end of the show. Can okay, you look perfect. Right. Thank you. We're going to just kind of, we're going to make awesome. it even look a little bit better. How's that? Right, perfect. Okay, so take shoes? those clothes. Okay, we have to take a break, everybody. She's going to go change. We'll be right change. back. Yeah. Yeah.